Okay, this is a video tutorial on Magix Movie Edit Pro for those that might be using this software. So we're going to open up the software. <coughs> now this version is the 2017 version which is the latest version although it is very similar to the 2016 version. When it first opens up this will appear. Uh, basically it's you can load an, an existing project create a new one uh, it gives you the movie settings which is uh, 50 frames per second the uh, audio sample rate just ignore that for now we're going to click OK now when it opens up you'll see this like I say it's very similar to 2016 down here on the bottom right hand corner are your three different views you've got your storyboard mode so if you click on that you've got storyboard um, you've got also got your um, scene overview which if you click on that it will change it to that what I use is this one which is your timeline so we're going to, for this tutorial we're going to use the timeline so I'm going to click on that this is your timeline this is where you drop all your videos and your audio um, this is your slider as you can see obviously here is, is your uh, timer if you like as you can see at the moment it's set to minutes so each one of these is a minute that's three minutes that's four minutes that's five minutes now if you're using this software you're better using a mouse if you're using it on a laptop use a mouse and one with a wheel because what we're going to do we're going to expand this into seconds five second intervals and all you do is you hold down your shift key and you you, you change it with your mouse wheel oh sorry not sorry not your shift key hold down the control key and then move your mouse wheel as you can see now it's all changing see that there now each one uh, one second that's six seconds that's seven seconds that's eight seconds we're going to turn it into five second intervals so what we're going to do is come back a little bit until we see um, that one which is 30 seconds 35 seconds 40 seconds 50 seconds so each one of these in between is a second okay so we're going to, that's what we're going to use now then we're going to import some clips um, there's two ways of doing it as with every software you can click on file and import from there um, and, but the, be the, way, the easiest way to do it is to click on import which is here among, this is your work area so we're going to click on import there um, here's all your um, different areas we're going to click on computer um, I'm just going to add a, a few little clips just to make a short video so I'm going to click on to the um, Terry and then I'm going to go on to my desktop and I should have a folder in here same clips sorry I've not put it in there uh, go into computer and then find your files it's on the D drive and there's a folder called clips I'm going to open that folder up and what we're going to do there's all your clips now if you want a preview, you just pray the play button and it pre previews in your screen here as you can see so what we're going to do is first of all I'm going to show you how to create titles for, to open your film so if you click on titles you can see here you've got different options you can do it manually or you can click on templates and click on fonts and this brings up all your different fonts you can preview them again by pressing the play button and um, once you found a font that you like all you need to do is to click it and drag it into the timeline um, that is now showing let me have a look that's showing a two minute so we don't want it on two minutes we want it to be about five seconds so we're going to bring it back into the 5 second mode, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 25 and so on. And as you can see now, it's dropped. So what we need to do is double click it. And here's all your options for that title. Another way of doing it is the um, same again if you hold down the control key and zoom in like that. And then you can drag it. Hold that just to get it there so you see them two points. Hold down the left key and drag it. That will also change the length of time. Just turn it off. So that's now changed the length of time. So we've now got 
one. Let's make it. Let's make it five seconds longer. That's now a five second long title. As you can see, here's your title inside, and it's also in here. This is your editor. So if you just highlight over it and give yourself a title, I'm just going to call it Wedding. As you can see, inside the screen there is changed. You can also change the size of your text, which is here. As you can see, you can change the size of your text. You can change how long it shows for. This is the length of, as you can see, as you click, the time, it moves in the timeline. So we're going to keep it to five seconds. And then you can also add your bold if you want it in bold and all your other bits and pieces. You can add it in 3D, which creates, you can create a shadow. Um, and also in this drop down here, this is your animation. So you can, you can have it drop from bottom to top. So if you click play now, it comes up like that. So what we're going to do, we're going to just have none for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to fade it in instead. Now on here, your timeline, if you point over it, you can see these little circles here at the end of it. All you do is you click on it and drag that to fade it in and drag that to fade it out. So if you play it again now, it'll fade in and it'll fade out so what we're going to do now is add some clips so we again we go back into the import this time we know where we are um, here's the clips we're going to drag each one in now you could put it anywhere you want now it's saying that it's a different resolution for now we're going to click do not adjust so there's that clip and as you can see it's quite a long clip so what I'm going to do I'm going to reduce it I'm going to say take it to about there as the start point now the way you, the way you cut on this there's two ways of snipping this you can click on edit um, cutting split scene that would split the scene the easiest way to do it would be to just press the T button T for tango on your, on your keyboard and that's it, it's snipped there you can see the snip so I'm gonna, again I'm going to finish it at about here so again I'm going to press the T and that's snipped it the ones I don't want I'm going to highlight and delete and highlight and delete so now all I've got is this clip that I want if you look over here these are all your links, your magnets and everything else if, that, if you tick that magnet there when you drag it, it'll snap it to it automatically. So that's now snapped. So what we're going to do again, we're going to fade this first clip in. But we're not going to fade out because we're going to join the next clip. So if we play now, it should fade in. There you go. Now we're going to get the second clip. And again, we're going to place it here for now while we preview it. And now we'll preview it. Right, we want that to be about one and a half to two seconds. So you can just go one, one and a half. Highlight it, press the T, delete the one that you don't want, and snap that one to there, and so on. Just do this one, and then we'll show you how to finish it. Same again with this one. Find what you want, about one and a half seconds. Highlight it, press T delete the one that you don't want snap that into there so I'm going to do this quickly now now I want that to start about there so I'm going to T that, delete that to about there, that's two seconds and that is plenty highlight it, press the T delete that, snap that to there right so what you want to do now is you want to on your last scene or wherever you want to place it you fa place your fade out so there's the beginning and there's the end now we're going to give that a quick play that's it basically so what we need to do now is add a uh, some credits at the end 
so again you click on title now you can have it there's lots of different things I'm going to use intro and outro for this one and no I'm not I'm going to click on fonts I'm going to use the same font as you can see it's highlighted in red that means you've used that font so I'm going to drag that down and I'm going to snap it to there and then I'm going to double click it and here comes my editor so you can highlight that and put in for example It's edited by Terry Roberts 2017. Now we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to highlight it, drop that down, slide that up just a touch. About there. Now because it's the credits at the end, you're going to want them rolling up. So here's your click on your animation, click on from bottom to top. Sorry. Yeah, bottom to top. And then once you play it, as you can see it rolls up. So that's a short film. I'm going to click play again. Right. Also, I forgot to mention on your credits at the end, you've also got speed here. As you can see, it's set for 2.5 seconds. If you want it to roll up a little bit slower, just increase it. So say you want it to last for about 5 seconds, increase it to 5. And if you play it back again, you'll find it rolls up a lot slower. As you can see. So that's the basics of putting a, a film together with Magic's Movie Edit Pro. We'll go into more detailed subjects later on um, but what I want to show you before I finish this clip is here are your clips I know you can see at the moment the clips if you wanted to see the audio as well what you would do is you would highlight them right click on them make sure you right click and you also get like a context menu which we will go in at la uh, into at a later date but for now we want audio so you go up to the top and you hover over audio functions and you come across and then you put them video and audio on separate tracks and there they are They're both on separate separate tracks <coughs> at the moment as you can see once I click on the video the audio light um, highlights as well that's because they are linked together so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight them and move over to this area here and you can see your links you can see link and unlink so we're going to click on unlink and now they're both unlinked so now if I click on the video only the video lights up if I click on audio only the audio is highlighted so now what you can do is if you don't want that audio delete it and then put whatever audio you want in or if you just click undo there yeah. if you wanted to put a little bit of audio you didn't want it to delete all the audio but you wanted to put some audio different audio inside it what you would do you would bring your slider to where you wanted the audio to come in click T make sure you ha you click on it and highlight it click T and the same again where you want the audio to finish click T highlight this bit that you don't want and delete it then what you do is you import your audio that you do want which I'm just going to find some now just anything I'll do just to show you um, this will do. Drag that down there and you slot it in there. Now obviously it's too big to go in, to fit in there so we just drag it across to the point where you need to snip it. You press the T, delete the bit that you don't want, slide the new audio into there. That's how you do it. So now you've got There you go, and that's how you do it. So that's just the first demonstration of Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Um, just before I finish, I'll just go through uh, exporting it. So what you do is you simply click on File, 
there's, there's different ways of exporting it. You can click on these over here on the top right hand corner. Um, but I prefer to click on File and then Export Movie. And you get more options down here than you than you get on the right hand side. Then just click on Video as an MPEG4, and this gives you all the options. Just drop that down, click on um, MPEG4 HD. Um, I use 50. If it's different, it'll tell you. But I just click on MP4 HD 1920 1080p 50p. Uh, once you've done that, click on where you want to save it. I'm going to save it onto the desktop. We're going to call it um, we'll call it short movie. Once you've done that, click save, click OK, and that's it. It'll export it now as an MP4. Yep. Obviously, the longer the film, then the longer it will take to export. So I think what we'll do, we'll just pause here while it uh, exports and I'll come back. So right, so that's it. It's exported it and it saved it onto my hard drive. So we're going to close this now. I don't want to save it, so I'm going to click don't save. But if obviously you, you, if you want to save it, click save. Um, there it is on the desktop. So we're going to give that a quick play now. And that's it. We'll go into more detailed um, things like um, effects and everything else in the next tutorial. But that's it for now.